Lately, I've been contemplating what kind of videos to bring to you. In this video, instead of introducing the latest mods, I want to showcase some mods I've previously introduced that can enhance immersion. First, I must mention the Epic Dragon Combat Redone and Many New Dragons mod. This mod significantly enhances dragon combat in Skyrim and adds new dragons. It introduces a variety of new dragons, such as those that breathe sand, poison, electricity, infectious substances, and life-draining blood, making the game more enjoyable. The mod also improves dragon attacks, causing multiple targets to stagger from bites, and allowing wing and tail attacks to stagger you and knock down NPCs. These new dragons, with their unique abilities and appearances, appear alongside vanilla dragons in the game. With 15 new dragon breaths and new abilities, this mod makes dragon encounters more exciting and immersive, providing opportunities to meet a diverse range of dragons and enhancing the overall dragon combat experience. Next up is the Dismembering Framework. Previously, we introduced the early access version of this mod on this channel, and now it has been officially released on Tess Nexus, receiving an explosive response. To explain once more, this mod enhances the immersion of Skyrim's combat by providing real-time limb dismemberment, realistic blood splatter effects, and adaptive sound effects based on the type of armor and weapons used. It applies not only to humanoid enemies, but also to certain creatures like Falmer and Draugr, allowing you to dismember their limbs. With dynamic blood effects, various visual effects, and new sounds, this is one of the essential mods we highly recommend. Next up is the Race Menu Selector of Skins, Unique Player Character Mod. This mod allows you to choose unique body meshes and skin textures for your player character in Skyrim. You can select from options like fair skin or muscular skin according to your preference in-game. The slider's Eero position represents the default skin of the character, but you can use custom bodies and skins from slots 1 to 4. This mod offers the advantage of applying a distinctive body and skin to the player character, setting them apart from other NPCs, and enhancing your character's individuality. Although it is not widely known yet, I believe it has impressive features worth introducing. Next up, I'd like to introduce the Bard's College expansion. This mod significantly expands Skyrim's Bard's College by adding new learning quests, Bard abilities, and characters, enriching your experience at the Bard's College. Through this mod, the Bard's College quests are further extended. I'm Upon first joining the college, assistance. the protagonist meets a woman named Helvana. Through her master, Sledrig, the Dragonborn grows as a Bard, are, learning new shouts, immortalizing their achievements in song, and gaining political influence, among other exciting activities. And please note that this mod is currently available through the Creation Club and requires 1,000 credits. Therefore, I recommend considering your purchase carefully before making a decision. In this segment, we will introduce several mods that enhance immersion through animations. Although they may not be the latest mods, we've carefully selected only the essential ones, so you can look forward to them. First, I must mention the First Person Interactions mod. For players who primarily play in first person view, this mod is essential. It adds animations for interactions in first person view, making gameplay more immersive. For example, when you greet NPCs, pickpocket, or pick locks, various animations are added, making the game feel more lively. It also adds interaction motions when collecting various types of plants, looting NPCs, or petting animals, making it a must-have mod for players seeking immersion. Next up is Dynamic Crafting Animations. This mod adds new animations for crafting, smithing, enchanting, and other activities in Skyrim. For example, when using a grindstone, the vanilla game only shows an iron sword. But with this mod, all weapons the player uses, including bows, daggers, and greatswords, are displayed in the character's hands. Additionally, the workbench displays all selected armor pieces and adds new animations appropriate to their type. 
The arcane enchanter in particular shows added items and enchantments, soul gems, and new animations based on the task, significantly enhancing the immersion related to crafting. Next up is the combination of use or take and grab and eat. This mod allows you to use any object in Skyrim immediately upon looting it. With this mod combination, you can instantly consume potions found in dungeons or eat food right away. No more tedious looting and opening the inventory screen for each item. You can also equip outfits, gear, or weapons instantly, allowing for faster gameplay progression. For alchemists, you can consume ingredients immediately without the need to loot each item and open the inventory screen. These features not only enhance immersion, but also improve convenience. While most of the functionality is handled by use or take, grab and eat takes care of ingredients. Next up is the Dynamic Looting and Harvesting Animations mod. This mod enhances immersion in Skyrim by adding various animations for looting items from chests, wardrobes, barrels, and harvesting plants. Depending on the plant being harvested, different animations are played, and the gathered materials are displayed in the character's hand. The mod includes animations for a variety of items such as flowers, mushrooms, fruit trees, and coin pouches, making these objects appear in the player's hand when looted, thereby increasing the immersion in Skyrim. Next up is Evgat, Dynamic Climbable Ladder Doors. This mod displays an animation of your character actually climbing the ladder when using ladder entrances. Although we previously introduced this mod on this channel, it didn't work with SSE at that time. However, with the recent release of Bees, this mod now functions in the SSE environment as well. While it's a small feature, we believe it can enhance your immersion, so we decided to introduce it again. In this segment, we will introduce the latest outfit mods. First up is Chaos Runner. This outfit is reminiscent of Sylvanas' attire from Warcraft. It comes in five different colors and features an impressive hooded cloak, designed exclusively for female characters. It supports both CBBE and BHUNP body bases, and can be crafted at the forge with the steel smithing perk. Next up is the Star Guardian mod. This mod features an adorable modular armor dress that supports various body types and HDT SMP physics effects. It includes a skirt with HDT SMP physics and can be chosen as either light armor or clothing. Available in three colors, it allows players to enhance their Skyrim gameplay and immersion significantly. Next up is the Southbound Scouts. This mod offers two low fantasy style outfit sets suitable for adventurers. It utilizes the HDT SMP physics engine to optimize the fabric's physical effects. The mod provides a total of six outfit parts, which are wearable by both male and female characters. It is optimized for HDT SMP cloth physics flagged as ESL, and includes body slide files for 3BA and Himbo. All items and color variations can be crafted at the forge using leather and other materials. Additionally, through faux mod, you can set a low probability for bandit archers and mages to wear these outfits. Lastly, let me introduce three visual mods that can enhance immersion. First up is the wavy waterfalls effect. This mod adds a ripple effect to the water beneath Skyrim's waterfalls, using a refraction effect that is not tied to water settings to simulate the ripples. This provides a more realistic environment by adding ripple effects under the waterfalls. The mod is compatible with most vanilla objects and natural waterfalls, offering stunning waterfall visuals that make Skyrim's environment even more immersive. Next up is Haystack's Mihail's Shards of Immersion. This mod breathes more life into the daily routines of farmers by adding haystacks of various sizes to Skyrim's farms and stables. It enhances the game's immersion and makes the world of Skyrim feel more vibrant and alive. Next up is the Soul Husk Replacer Mihail Flora and Fungi. This mod replaces the models and textures of Skyrim's Soul Husk and its ingredients with high quality versions. Upgrading the original low-resolution 5.12x512 models to 4K or 2K textures. 
The design of this mod resembles the husks of cursed plants or fungi, but now features hand-like ends that appear to grasp at soul energy. As a replacer that does not use an ESP file, it offers high compatibility with other mods, while enhancing Skyrim's environment for a more immersive experience. Thank you for joining me in exploring the best mods to enhance immersion in Skyrim. I hope you found some new favorites to elevate your gameplay experience. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Your support helps me bring you even more great content. Until next time, happy modding, and I'll see you in the next adventure.